Hi, my name's Barbara. I'm the owner and a groomer at um, Baronia Pets Cat and Dog Grooming, um, also called Fantastic Cats Cat Grooming and Baronia Dog Grooming. Um, we're in Baronia Bit Square in Baronia. Um, at the moment, we're not able to groom, so um, we're worried about our clients who are maybe concerned about their dog's coats getting out of control. Um, so I'm just going to show you a few of the tools you may have at home or that you can pick up at one of the bigger stores that's still open and um, just something you can keep some of the worst areas of your dog under control. This is Bertie, he's a Bichon Cross Maltese. He does get quite matted around his head and his ears. As you can see, he's looking a little bit wild and woolly and um, hopefully I'll do another video just showing uh, a basic clip on him. Okay, so one of the tools you may have at home is a slicker brush. As you can see, it's got the little pins like that and uh, that's one of my main tools for getting the little knots out of his head, but also very important you have some sort of comb so that, uh, yeah, you can comb through, make sure all the knots are gone. So when you're doing combing and slickering on a coat like this, um, I like to pull the hair back and then just, it's not like big sweeps, it's little, like I'm brushing them off his head. So I'm just gonna do that over the top. It takes a while, it's not something you can just do one sweep and you're done. You kind of have to do this, then comb it, and make sure that you've actually got everything out. He had a lovely bath this morning, so he's quite fluffy. The fluffier the dog, the better. So that's why when, we, when you come to the salon, we like to uh, wash your dogs. Um, as you can see, we're getting some resistance here at the bottom of the ear. As soon as I get resistance with the comb, I go back to the slicker. Okay, sometimes I don't use quite such a big one, but uh, this happens to be what I've got at home. So if you flop, when you're doing the ears, if you flop them over onto the head, it gives you a surface to work on. So as you can see, I've peeled that up. I'm just holding it on top of his head. So I've got the edges. I'm going around his ear so that his ear is on top of his head. And then I'll just follow up with the comb. I can mostly pull those out. He will give me a little yelp every now and then, which is unavoidable because those knots can be nasty. I do have at my disposal something called a mat breaker. It's a little curved rakey thing. It's got uh, kind of blades on it. Um, I will use those on the worst knots just to break them up. It's not to pull them through by any means. It's just to pick at them so that they break a little bit. And then it's back to my main tools. So I'm just going to do that on his ears, back of his head. You can hear it probably working through these knots. And you can do this over any part of the body. You can do this on the feet. His feet are pretty matty at the moment. Or not matty, they're knotty. Um, especially schnauzers, poodles, anything with a, a curly or a long coat. I'm going to use, see how much hair is coming out there. Use your comb to get the hair out of there and we just throw that away so you can work on the legs even if you're not clipping your dog at home just doing this on a regular basis will keep all those knots free from his hair and it will make your dog look really nice and fluffy even without a bath you can get them all fluffy if you just use your slicker brush and comb and don't go just one way go backwards backwards will pick up the hair and uh, and work through those knots. Now he does have some knots, which is why I'm going to clip him later. Um, he's really got too many to work on. Whoops, what he got stuck in there? Okay, so turn around, Bertie. So he's got a knot here. I don't know where that's come from. That's probably something he's just fallen into and worked it into his hair. So if you're careful, you can just take those out with the comb. But again, just gently although you can be a little bit rough. <laughs> um, but basically you just want to act like it's a child. Um, you hit a tangle, there might be a little squeal, but mostly you can get those tangles out by using those two tools. All right, let's see, I'm just holding the base of the hair so that he doesn't feel it because I'm between the hair and the root. Oh, my goodness me. And obviously as a groomer's dog, he doesn't get groomed as often as he should um, because I'm busy doing your dogs. 
Uh, so anyway, that's basically it. I'm going to do the other side and uh, I'll just turn this off for a second. Oop. So just to carry on with Bertie, um, again, just legs. You just want to take this slicker brush up his back legs. Try not to rub it on his skin because that's very sensitive. And the little pins can hurt them if you're not too careful. So you have to use your judgment when you feel through. Uh, when you're brushing through, you have to feel where you're going and what you're doing to the dog. Often they'll tell you if you're doing the wrong thing. But uh, he has a lovely fluffy tail. And uh, that will now look a lot better because I've brushed it out. So I'd be quite happy taking him out. People think he's beautifully fluffy. But I know he's got knots and mats all over him. And um, that's why when we, when you come into the salon and you've been brushing your dog, uh, we might say we have to go short. And the reason being that you might have been doing this, but you haven't been doing this with the comb. If you don't do it with the comb afterwards, you will find that the under layer, the undercoat could be matted. So you need to be able to get a comb through it for us to give you a lovely fluffy cut. So that's it for now. Hopefully that's helped you with a couple of the tools that you should be using at home during this time. If you've bought some clippers, I say um, take a look at the video I'm going to do next, which is uh, just doing some basic cuts on him. Okay, Bertie, say goodbye. Okay, it's Barbara from Baronia Pets signing off.